races into Toronto next weekend. In hot pursuit of the checkered flag will be the hometown hero, the pride of Oakville, the mayor of Hinchtown, James Hinchcliffe, everybody. Yay! I'm so happy you're back. Thank you so much. It's so, so cute. Back. You just looked at that and you said, home sweet home. Yeah, that's it. Feels I mean, like your second home. Well, I mean, I grew up at that racetrack. You know, I, I went there for the first time when I was 18 months old. That's crazy to me. And I've been every single one since, either as a fan or a participant. <laughs> well, last year, too, you couldn't participate because right. we remember with your accident. And so what was that like, being a marshal? It was so cool. I mean, that was, that was the first time I was cleared to travel. You know, it was the first time I really left my house to go anywhere, and, and I, I just didn't want to miss it. I didn't want to miss it. And it was a month earlier last year because of the Pan Am Games. That's so right. I was like, if, if it had been in July, it's a normal day, it wouldn't have been an issue. But I kind of had to fight the doctors a little bit to let me go. But <laughs> to get to come home and, and, uh, and be part of the race still was so great. And this city's just given me so much support. And it's, it was the least I wanted to do to kind of at least be there for them. You are so loved. And let's talk about that. You know, from 18 months, every single year being there, I know there was a story where you once waited in line for three hours for a photograph. Yeah, for, uh, for a photo and an autograph from Greg Moore. You know, he was my hero growing up. And, um, and, I, and I'm so glad that I did. I mean, it was, it was the weirdest day, too. It was like 32 degrees at one point. We're just dying. And then it started raining at another point. <laughs> I just wouldn't leave. And we eventually got it. And, uh, and that was 99. That was the year that, that he, he passed away. So that was my last chance to get to, to meet him and get his autograph. So I'm glad we did it. Well, how does it feel to be that guy on the other side now? Would you ever imagine that people would be lining up for you? It's, it's surreal to think about. I don't think about it like that, you know, but I definitely, if I see a little kid standing outside my trailer, I'll go out of my way to swing by and, and say hello and sign something for him because I've been there. I've done it. You know, yeah. I've been the kid with the hero card and the Sharpie that, uh, that waited around for an autograph. So I, and I know how much that means, you yeah. know, and it's, it's, it's cool to try and give something back like that. And what a comeback story. We have some visuals. I was saying, looking at the footage, seeing your mom hug you, you know, you qualified at the top. What was it like to be able to do that, to come back in such a big Way here yeah, it is. Well, for sure, you know the, uh, the the qualifying at Indy, Indy 500, any time is great. Uh, 100th running this year makes it that much more you know special. And then after obviously everything that we've been through as a team, it's it's not just me that gets affected or, or, or suffers through uh, what happened last year. The whole team, you know, we go through that together. And uh, for everybody on Schmidt Peterson Motorsport to be able to come back and uh, qualify pole like that was very special. And did you have to shake any worries off? Did you have any thoughts of my gosh, what if I get that feeling of spinning out again honestly no you know I, I it's kind of a weird way to look at it but I, I remember nothing from the accident because I had such a bad concussion and so I don't associate um, any of the any of the pain or any of the rehab or anything like that with the racetrack or with the race car because when I woke up I was already so separated from it you know it was something I had to deal with fine but I tried to not associate it with anything, and uh, and that made it a lot easier to get back in and you know go do this again. And you defied doctors. You got super fit, super quick, and you say you're in the best shape of your life right now. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. You know when when you get robbed of all your responsibilities and all you have to do is focus on getting healthy and, and getting back in shape, uh, it's amazing what you can accomplish when you take a motivated person and put them in that situation. That being said, we were talking about the fact that you do have your kryptonite, you do have the foods you love to go to, <laughs> one being pizza, another one being poutine, and you're going to have your signature poutine with like chicken and bacon and all kinds of stuff on it? Yes, down at the race, so if you come out to the Honda Indy in, uh, in a couple weeks, it's uh, Smokes poutine has got uh, a Hinch Town signature uh, poutine that'll be on sale there, and Pizza Pizza actually jumped on as a partner so I've, I'm not really doing the athlete image a whole lot of favors right now. Listen, but, after the uh, race that's how you get to treat yourself. There was actually a great photo. Do you remember the race uh, two years ago it got rained out. It was supposed to be the double header got rained out on yep. Saturday and when the, when the race finally got canceled it was like five o'clock they finally said hey we're calling it we're moving it to Sunday. Yeah. There, I actually got I got I got sniped by someone and it was on the Toronto Sun. It was a picture of me gorging on a piece of pepperoni pizza from Pizza Pizza. Yes. And uh, you know it's 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 a it's a, it's a vice. I don't know what to tell you. You deserve it. Also, check him out. He's not only a part of our family. You're actually going to be on Family Feud. They're having a really fun show. You are up against uh, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Models. That is correct. Okay. Yes. It is a... Uh <laughs> it was an interesting experience, to say the least. Uh, it was great. I mean, Steve Harvey's hilarious. I watched the show. I'm a He's big so fan good. of the show. And uh, and I, it, it, when they when they said, "Hey, we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing this," I put my hand. I'm like, yeah, I'll, "I'll do that." That's coming up in a couple of weeks. Can you spell orange? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we're all rooting for Hinch at the 2016 Honda Indy Toronto. I know my nephew Matthew is so excited. He loves you. We all do. It runs next weekend from July 15th to the 17th. So good to see you. Stay healthy and well, and come back anytime. Thank you so much for having me. Kev, over to you. Can you spell orange? Hey, uh, Hinch.
Do you want us to stop playing that video over yeah, and over question. of you smashing into the wall? It's brutal. Oh, I mean, the one of me getting pole was more fun to watch, but I mean, I get it. It's part of it. It's <laughs> tough. Right. I know. I don't like it either. All right. Well, I, and, and I guess it's not good in your industry to say, hey, break a leg at the end. <laughs> really, Kev? Yeah. Really? Too soon? Did you go Too soon. there? Too soon. Hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> Cut it go, out. Go get him, Jim.